If you have heard the acronym ETL and wondered what it is, then you're in the right place. ETL is an acronym for Extract, Transform and Load, but this won't explain anything. Instead of giving you the textbook definition, let me explain it to you with an example. Assume that you are the owner of 10 different retail stores and you would like to see key metrics from all of these stores every day like stocks, profits, number of sales, etc. in one report. To make it more interesting, let's assume that each store manages data in its own separate database that may use different technologies. So now, how to get the data you want from all of these different stores? So one way to do it is by creating another database that has the data from all of these different stores. Here, in this case, you use ETL approach to integrate the data. Now, either your programmers can write a piece of code or use some ETL tool to connect to all the different databases and pull the required information from all of them. This is the process of extraction. After extracting the data, we have to ensure that all the data is in the same format. That means it is standardized in some way. For example, if one store is using the date format DDMMYYYY and the other store is using this date format MMDDYYYY, then you must ensure that all the dates should comply to one standard format in your final database. And this is simply the process of transformation. So there are, there are many different data anomalies that you might come across while transforming the data. And I have another video discussing some of them. You can check that out if you are interested. I'll link that in the description and also in the cards here. Once the data is standardized, it has to be loaded efficiently to the final database without much of delay. And this is the final part of it. It is very important that this process runs efficiently, otherwise you may not see the data on time or you may see the wrong numbers in your report. I hope this short video gave you a little bit of understanding about ETL. If you want me to go deeper into the technical aspects of it and how it's done, please let me know in the comments. Take care and meet you in the next one. Bye.